What is up guys, tonight I'm at Gwangjung Market in Seoul, South Korea. This place was featured in Street Food Vendors, Netflix series, and this place has a lot of vendors selling their unique food. So I can't wait to stop, guys, and come follow me. The first place I want to show you guys is Ruine Yukke Bindetto. This place is famous for its pancakes and kimbap. So that's the mung bean right there getting grinded up. And after that, uh, it's put into this dough right here. And this is how Korean pancakes are made. You see that's the mung bean and the dough and some onions in there. This is called drug kimbap and it just tells us how uh, tasty it is, that it's so addictive that it's comparable to a drug. So they put some sesame oil and some sesame seeds to make the thing more flavorable. And the crunchiness from this radish and the carrots make it more outstanding. Furthermore, there's, um, there's wasabi in here, there's mustard, which gives a little slight kick to this. Besides this sauce, this would have been a little bland, but the sauce makes it all wonderful. I ordered some binde. So. And in here, there's some onion, there's some beans, and there's this dough, which is very crunchy. So this sauce, this pancake, you put it in here, and you eat it with the pickle. So, so the sauce is sour and sweet at the same time. I combine that with the onion, which is very crunchy. It goes really well. And the dough itself is very crunchy. So it's also very good for your body. The next restaurant I visited was Changshin Yukwe. This place specializes in raw beef and it has four chain restaurants in this market. I visited the fourth shop. So this restaurant specializes in something called raw beef, as you see here. There's raw eggs, uh, some sesame seeds, and there's obviously some raw beef. While this might be unfamiliar to foreigners, it's actually very tasty. So, um, let's just take a quick bite of this. Oh, and there's also um, pear, Korean pear in this, which makes it even more sweeter. Raw beef has an amazing texture. It's very soft compared to cooked beef, 
And it's also very chewy. So actually, when you cook beef, you usually taste some kind of a flavor going on. But here, it's um, it's the egg, it's uh, egg and the pear, which makes it sweet. And then obviously the sesame seeds and other factors um, make it more delicious. So usually the way you eat it is you mix this egg and the pear together. And what the egg will do is that it will make the texture even more softer and make the flavor more fragrant. Guangzhou Market is also famous for its tteokbokki and sundae. I was craving some of this and found this place. The next restaurant I visited served some amazing tteokbokki and sundae that I've never seen in my life. The sundae was a lot bigger and contained glutinous rice which you can't find in normal restaurants, which makes this place unique. After eating all of this, I got quite thirsty and I found the perfect solution. I got some fresh juice out of the grinder. I just had some amazing food in this market. Uh, if you guys want to check this market out, address is going to be on the link in the comment description below. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, please make sure to click that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next video.